AI skill weak. We'll do medium. I want to make this challenging. I want to make this challenging for sure. But not to the point. Like, I'd be okay with placing consistently like 6th or 5th or 4th. You know, and occasionally getting a podium. I don't want to be the fastest. Because when you're the fastest, it's... it's yes, it's interesting to some people, but it's not realistic. Where you just set your game mode where you're like, Oh, I'm just going to walk around and lap everybody. That's not realistic. That's not really racing. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Your second test is on the wind conditions. Just focus on setting your So my thought here... Again, I don't I don't know how bad the rain is going to make as far as uh, the lap times go. I should make sure that I'm paying just a little bit of a note. Paying a somewhat I wouldn't say close note, but at least paying attention to the um, times down in the bottom left to see where the my rivals or at least the other drivers are at so I can gauge how quickly everybody is going around yeah but I don't know here if that the tires gain grip as they warm up or if they're just constantly going to be a little bit slippery due to the water because my tires are ice cold and the the slippery surface just kind of makes the car feel like it's on ice. All right, I've been locking up my brakes. And it's just been sliding all over the place. You can actually kind of see on the screen as I was putting the power down, the car is swerving a little bit. Like in fourth gear or something. It was just... This is very, very poor conditions. Okay. I've got wet tires now. So I'm going to see if I can get even... I'll have one... F I'll have one outlap. Yeah, this is much better already. I'll have one out lap and then one flying lap, and that's pretty much going to be it. So let's see if I'm even going to be close to be able to get this, but I can't believe I had to choose tires. I figured my engineers would know, hey, it's raining out, and might as well put wets on. Apparently you have to specify with that with some people. Yeah, but this is just absolutely night and day difference here. Cap, I think I can start trusting the racing line a little bit more. I know I'm going to be multiple seconds down when we find out the final r results here. Well, that was my own run doing, and I'm willing to accept that. 2.13. Somebody just said a 2.13. That's going to be what my time I'm looking for. I've got absolutely nothing else. I've got no previous fast lap that I can gauge my time up against. So we're just going to see how we're going to do. I've got Parabolica left. Somebody just set a 212. Okay. We're going on for a 212. I'm going to start feeling my previous breaking points on dries. And just kind of go from there. Only got one lap, so here we go. No screwing up. 
Currently going down the pit straight, six gear. Slipping a little bit. I want to see 200, a little bit less than 200. Oh, that's way too early still. That's a slow. This is slow. Can't get grip. I don't think a 213 is possible. And definitely not a 212. So going around here, we got to... It seems like the more that you turn in, less power is actually being put down. So really gradual steering, I suppose, is kind of our ideal racing. We're going to go down to third. We're going to again bring it in gradually here. Much slower than usual. But we've had approximately a 12 second deficit between what I set as the fastest lap and what these guys are setting for the fastest lap in the rain. I want to say that we're about halfway through now. I really hope we're more than halfway through, but we just, we got a 211 that just showed up on the screen there. This is where we were slipping earlier. Fortunately, we didn't. This is very nice, safe, and secure through here. We're going to keep the power down. Touch the inside of that curb. We got 30 seconds to do Parabolica. I want to say that we might be able to do it. I think we're going to definitely be able to do it. Okay. That's two minutes. Oh, we've got it. Oh, we've got it. We've got it. 207. Look at that. I think I adjusted the difficulty. So it's said recommended was weak off of what I was going off of. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I can't just do that off of my first run. That was a that was a good run. That was a very good run. But I'm not to the point where I can just come out out of the blue. And just be able to set three seconds down. All right, take two. We do have confirmation here. We have 27 and a half PSI in our tires, and we actually have wet tires. Finally. There we go. I'm uh, playing around with the wipers now because I can actually toggle them. So this is actually a little bit hubris. Uh, first lap is not a whole lot that I can do here. Uh, just warming up the tires, I guess. Loosely. I want the wipers to show up every now and again, not constantly. Well, this is a little bit weird. Um, in order to have hard AI, you need to have the ideal line hidden. So I guess we don't need that anymore. <laughs> Wet tires. And we're now eight minutes down. There we go. Pit limiter. Manual. I forget I have that, so hopefully I don't get penalized for that. Essentially take three. I honestly really don't need the racing line. I haven't needed it at all in the many previous years of playing Need for Speed. Why would I need it now? jokes. 
Uh, but for the most part, I think I already know about where all my breaking points are anyway. It turns out that I don't need to break at 175 here. I can actually probably break at about 150, dare I say it. They're so going to come up to turn six. And we're breaking early. But all seems all right so far. That one might be the dangerous one because I don't have... Even with the racing line, I have like a general view in my mind about where everything is. Where I'm like, oh, I can look for that thing and that'll be my breaking point thereabouts. For turn seven, I, I got nothing. Because that turn right there, that's the bridge. I know that. I feel like I just don't have grip right now. Even though they've got wet tires, it feels like that it's just... Even wheel spinning... Well, maybe not wheel spinning, but just it just doesn't have that same level of grip. Obviously, because there's water on the ground, so... So we're going to feather the throttle a little bit. I say feather it. I'm going to stomp it down to the floor and hope that grip eventually shows up and I don't oversteer into a mess. So apparently 4 minutes and 47 seconds was my first lap. That really doesn't mean anything right now. But 300, 200, right here. little bit. Instead of 150, I still got to do 175 for turn one. And that sucks. Because I was hoping that this would have been a really good lap, and it just isn't already. I screwed up that first corner, and we are just not going to get there. Upshifted early, going through turn three. So because of that, I'm going to break at 200. So really should be at 150 for this corner now that I think about it. Because even 175 in the dry seemed to be the place. Not right now, though. Seems like 150, oddly enough. So I saw in the corner of my eye there that one of the rivals there got a 210. And there's another 210. So when I did this for the first time, this session, <laughs> I got a 205, 206. So I know it's possible. I know I can do it. But I want to know if the level of rain changes between sessions where it's like randomized or something, or if it's like the game is programmed to have rain or no rain if you guys know what I'm on about but we're breaking out the whiteboards as per usual we're going to go down to third gear and we're just going to keep a little bit on the throttle and we're going to push through so even with a massive screw up on turn one we're still 211 I think it's doable. I honestly think it's doable. But I gotta remember, 200 or 175, so there's 200. I'm gonna play it safe. Honestly, 175 is it. But the fact that we're only nine hundredths of a second down means that I really got to nail that turn one entrance and I got to nail it next lap. Otherwise I'm screwed. So we broke at about 175. That's ugh. broke at 175. Like I said, I didn't need to. And then I put a little bit of gas on to compensate for it. And guess what? <laughs> My early break became a late break. <laughs> so this laugh is... 
I'm calling it a wind down lap. I just <laughs> I don't I don't deserve any decent lap time right now. I'm just relaxing my way through right now. <laughs> Take any the easy. And yet that right there somehow got me a better time. I was able to carry speed through there. Again, somehow. Through uh, 8, 9, and 10. But again, we're going to shoot for our whiteboards. Coming into the Parabolica. Down to third gear. I'm still technically stopping on the throttle. And honestly, I probably don't need to. I really honestly need to go wide and then come back. But I've got one last attempt. There we go. Can't do much down the pit straight. Just hold your foot flat in sixth gear and hope nothing weird happens. So we're actually going to shoot for 150. No, I didn't need to. I needed to do 175. <laughs> uh, okay. That felt sketchy, but we did it. I don't know how. I'm still clenching. <laughs> there we go. Right about here. We're still early, but I'm going to carry that speed through. We're now looking, dipping into the two tens. If I can hit this next couple of spots nice and easy. We're going wide. We lost time through there. I was going to see if I can hit those next couple of turns nice and easy. We might have been able to dip into the 209s. But turn 6 and 7, I don't know what happened there. I think it got cocky. It said I was nearly two seconds down. And it's just like, all right, I am thoroughly in the 210s now. It happens. Just a little bit of throttle. There we go. Shifted a little bit early there, but definitely was able to... It's weird, because in the dry, you've got so much grip that if you hold the gas down, you just get slingshot through all that mess. But even, like, here... Like, you're holding the gas thoroughly to the floor, but due to the nature of there not being any traction, I guess the tires are just kind of spinning and spinning and spinning until you get a little bit of grip. So it's just kind of all a little bit weird. Who pulled out a 207 out of the blue? Screw off. <laughs> Up a second and eight tenths. I am on it. I am on it in sector one. So... <laughs> Slowing down at the 150 and going into turn one wide in second gear. Somehow was basically on the money. I don't know how, but it was. Sector two was garbage, and I will admit that. Even because I've got that turn six and seven. I just can't figure that out necessarily. So, you know, whatever. And sector three was all right. Nothing to write home about, though.